What I'm about to show you is a glazing tool that I made out of two pieces of oxyacetylene welding rod. You can see how it was made. This is a part that is for the sliding clamp. And then these arms are just simply twisted together to hold the plate. And now I'm going to show you how it works. You hook the plate in here like this. You push this down like this. Then you dip the plate in the glaze. Hold for a second. Drain. Notice that now that it's drained, if I put my finger here, I can pick it up and put it down on the table. We'll do the next plate. Hook it. Hold for the correct time. Drain. Make sure you get it drained properly. Put it down on the table. Here's the next one. And by draining it out, at a slight angle, what happens is the speckling that's in the glaze is evenly distributed across the entire face of the plate, which makes the plate really nice. You don't get any bare spots where you don't have any speckling. There's the drain. You have to put your finger right there because if you don't, what happens is you wind up without the... Um, and then some, occasionally it'll drip right off that little junction. So by putting my finger right under that junction, I saved myself the danger of it getting drip on and making a spot. The inside face of this plate then is flawless. There you have, that's already five plates. Six. And we'll grab this and turn it. Seven. Here's eight. And nine. I have nine plates to glaze. And this gives you an idea then of how long it takes to glaze nine plates. And this works just as well for a large plate. This will handle a plate up to about 12 inches easily. It's easy on the hand, it doesn't hurt at all. And look at how much quicker that is than any other method that you could come up with.